Hello and welcome to a safe dosing video. This is question number one right out of your Pete's packet. Um, so really quick, let's just get into the uh, actual question and take a look at the different parts of the question. You do have a physician's order um, for 65 milligrams. You have a patient's weight. You do have a safe dose range, which is 22 milligrams per kilogram per day every six hours, which is four doses. And then pharmacy sent you a stock bottle. So there's two parts to the question. The first is, is this dose safe? And the second is, how much would you give this patient? So let's go ahead and get started with the very first part of the question, which is, is this dose safe? So to do that, you're gonna take the safe dose range first and figure out for this patient who weighs 9.9 .9 kilos, what is the daily maximum dose I'm going to give them? So your final unit is gonna be milligrams per day. So we know from the question that 22 milligrams per kilogram per day has been, is the safe dose. Your patient weighs 9.9 .9 kilograms. So when you get rid of the kilograms, you're left with milligrams per day. And when you do the calculation, <coughs> you should get 217.8 milligrams per day. So this tells you that your patient who weighs 9.9 .9 kilos can get up to 217.8 milligrams for the whole day. Um, I do love a number line, so if you're a visual learner, you might like this too. So what I do is I take the number, draw a number line, and I tell myself this patient can get from zero up to 217.8 milligrams per day. So I just set this visual up and I leave it right there. So now that I have the daily max dose, I'm gonna go back to the physician's order and see what he says. The physician has ordered 65 milligrams per dose. Okay, and he wants us to repeat this dose every, four, every six hours. Or he wants us to give this in four doses. Now this safe dose is for the whole day whereas the physician's is a single dose. So I know that I cannot compare a day and a dose. So I'm gonna take the physician's order, multiplied by four doses, and I'm gonna make that a whole entire day. So that's gonna give me 260 milligrams for the whole day. Now I have day to day, so which means I can make a good comparison. So I'm gonna try and map the physician's daily dose on what the recommended daily dose is on my number line right here. And if I were to do that, I noticed that the 260 is way past the limit and could potentially map somewhere here. So I'm over the limit. This is my limit. I'm way over the limit. So which basically means it's a high dose. It's too high and it's not safe. So which means you're going to get on the call, get on the phone with the physician for a clarification slash new dose. So this is not a safe dose for this patient. Now in the real setting, you wouldn't calculate the amount or you wouldn't give this amount. But for this mathematical question, we will go ahead and continue on to the second part, which asks you to calculate how much you would give. Now, when you get down to the calculation, you're going back to basic dimensional analysis, which is what's the final unit milliliters? What did the physician order? 65 milligrams. What did pharmacy send me? They sent you a bottle where every 15 ml contains 80 milligrams. So go ahead and plug that in. You don't need a conversion. You leave the milliliters on top because that's what you're looking for. And that in turn should give you 12.18 milliliters. So if you went ahead and rounded this to the 10th, you should get 12.2 ml as your final answer. All right, so it's a high dose, it's too high, it's not safe, uh, and had it been safe, you would have given 12.2 milliliters. So that basically addresses uh, two parts, of, both the parts of the question. Now, if you don't like the whole day for safe dosing, here's an option. You can bring it down to a single dose. And the way you do this is you still take the safe dose recommendation, you plug it in with the patient's weight of 9.9 .9 kilos. In this case, your final answer is going to be milligrams per dose, but you have a day. So the way you're gonna make that conversion is you're gonna look at the question and say, all right, how many doses am I giving? So because it's six hours, you're gonna say one day has four doses. 
And then when you go ahead and find, uh, go ahead and cancel out, your kilograms are gone, your day and day are gone. So you're left with milligrams per dose. So when you do the math on this, you should get 54.45 milligrams per dose. Uh, again, I love my number lines, so here we go. That's 0 to 54.45 milligrams per single dose. So let's see what the physician has done. The physician, as we already know, has said to us 65 milligrams per dose. We are talking dose as far as safe dosing as well. So when you see this dose to dose connection, you have nothing much to do besides do a quick comparison. So let's map 65 on this number line. Uh, again, way past the 54, probably somewhere here. So this is where the physician falls, 65 milligrams. As you can see, it's too high of a dose and it's not safe. So again, no matter your sweet spot, whether it's milligrams per day or whether you pick milligrams per dose, Either way, the drug is too high, the dose is too high, it's not a safe drug, you will not give this medication. And if you were to give it, had it been a safe dose, you would end up giving 12.2 amounts. So that basically answers the two parts of the question. Is it safe and what's the amount to be given? Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.